Hello everybody, my name is Oric with UFixit Auto and today I'm going to be showing you how to change an outer tie rod on your car or truck. And I'm going to be showing you how to do it using my 1998 Toyota Celica as an example. Now please note that it is recommended that after you change a tie rod that you take it to an alignment shop after. So plan on having that done after you get this done. First you're going to want to get your car up in the air using jack and jack stands. Make sure to give the car a push to make sure it won't fall off and then remove your tires. Now that we have the tire out of the way, you can easily locate the tie rod as it's this rod connecting right over here. Here's the old tie rod and it, as you can see here, it has way too much play in it so it has to be replaced. And to make things a little easier for us, we're gonna turn the wheel to the left so that way we have a little bit more working room. From here, loosen the adjustment nut and then tighten it back up so that it's barely touching. From here, just use some needle nose pliers in order to remove the cotter pin from the castle nut. This will free the castle nut to be able to get it to move. After pinching the ends, just pull out the cotter pin. You can see here how the cotter pin looks like. And then you find the correct socket. And with a breaker bar, just break the castle nut loose. And then you take it out the rest of the way with a ratchet. Then you put the castle nut back on in reverse and make sure that it's flush because you're going to be banging this thing out with a hammer. You can use a ratchet to make it easier but just keep checking to make sure that it's flush with the stud. And now that it's flush make sure to grab your trusty hammer and bang it up until it pops up from its place. Once you, it pops up like this then you're good to go. Just unscrew the castle nut it may be difficult to get a socket around it since you just dented it. So you can also use a wrench in order to help loosen it. Just a little bit more by hand and now we have the castle nut off. Now you can remove the tie rod from its place. You're going to want to pay attention to the adjustment nut in the back. That's what helps keep your alignment in place. The goal here is to make sure that it's aligned just enough to take it to an alignment shop. So you could do that or count the amount of turns that you make on it. If you have trouble turning the tie rod, then it has a little slot for a wrench to help you so you can have more torque. And after you make the final turn, then the tie rod just comes out. And with your tie rod out, one thing that you want to do is visually inspect it and make sure it matches up to your new tie rod. It's important that these are the same size so that way it helps keep your alignment. And if you're able to get one with a greasable Zerk fitting, then that is best for your car. Unfortunately, the Celica does not have one that I could find, so we're gonna go with these. Test to make sure that your castle nut goes on and off freely. And don't forget to check the box to make sure you can find the cotter pin. I counted the amount of turns that I made, so I'm gonna apply that to my tie rod. If you use your adjustment nut as your stopping point, make sure you screw it all the way back till it touches. Once in place, all you gotta do is just put the tie rod back in its spot, put the castle nut back in place, and we're gonna torque this down to 36 pound feet with a torque wrench. Your torque spec may differ, so you can find that information online. Just make sure you get the right one for your car. Then we just tighten until it clicks. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure that this slot for the castle nut matches up with the cotter pin hole. If it does not, then you're gonna wanna tighten, never loosen, until it lines up. And then once it lines up, then you just slip your cotter pin in. Then you're gonna wanna grab a set of pliers and wrap the cotter pin around the castle nut. This helps keep the castle nut in place. And since you're going to be taking this to an alignment shop, the last step is usually to make sure this adjustment nut is tight on there. But since we're going to be taking it to an alignment shop, they're going to adjust that anyways. So just make sure it's snug. And with that, we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share to your friends to help this channel grow. Let me know what you guys think down in the description below. And let me know what you guys would like to see. Thank you.